Pop Shops on uh, Wednesday. A real breakthrough for Timmy Malik. We've found a very famous person over the age of 15 who is willing to talk to him, uh, haven't we, Timmy? Oh, thank you so much, Michael. I'm just over 15. Of course. Yes, Brian Mason Cree. Hello, Brian. Thanks, it's nice Brian. to have you with us today. Thank Yesterday, you. we met the fellow who brought in this uh, new fabulous digital guitar. I've heard which... about it, and I know what it is, yes. I haven't actually held it in my hand. It cost thousands and thousands to make and to, and to buy. Yeah. Uh, you brought us in a guitar which actually cost a lot less to, uh, guitar, to make. Yeah. It took me eight pounds to make that 20 years ago with my father. And you actually made it, didn't you? Yeah, and it's uh, this old antique is still going. That's what I play the whole time. Well, how do you go about actually making a guitar? I mean, it looks quite a complicated thing to build. It took us about two years. It's built literally from more or less junk, you know, bits of old fireplaces. And stuff. <laughs> there's, there's all books about it. And stuff, and That's but it's, it's somehow still going. It was only built for fun, really, but it's, it's lasted for 20 years that I've been I playing. mean, it is the thing that makes the very distinctive Queen sound, isn't it? It helps. Can we hear a bit? Ah, oh, he's never asked. He buzzes a bit because he's right. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> now, what about this? Uh, you know, the the digital thing. Have you you've not seen that yet, have you? No, I haven't. But I I've, I've played around with a few digital guitars. I don't generally like them. I hear that this one that you were trying out is great. Mm. But um, I'm hoping they're going to send me one. I can try it out. Yeah. Be nice, that wouldn't it? But for me, the traditional, I like the way the guitar sounds anyway. And for me, it's kind of a voice. And this thing does, it speaks for me. Because I'm not a very good singer. But it does have that very uh, distinctive sound. It's uh, a beautiful thing. Yeah. And very nice, but you know. You actually, you know all kinds of stuff. Makes silly noises too. It's a late night sound, isn't it? It sounds quite strange to hear it in the morning. I know, this is late night for me. <laughs> <laughs> very late night for me. That's great. Well, uh. I go now. No, no, you, no. Can, hear, you can hear more of this on, uh, on Saturday because there's a very special um, simulcast going out on That's Channel That's right, 4. which is history making. It's the first time the independents have done a, a simulcast, right. yeah. Saturday night. Which actually features yourselves in concert? Yes, from one of our Wembley Stadium concerts last, last month or a couple of months ago. It's quite a spectacular uh, set of concerts, that. I mean, I know when they, uh, when they filmed it, they used um, a record breaking 15 cameras or something on the actual shoot. And yeah, it's very well shot, I think. And if you're going to listen to it, what I recommend is get the biggest telly you can find and sit back this far from it and put headphones on. Don't, <laughs> don't listen to the mono sound. The stereo sound is the, great. The, the biggest the headphones three. you can get as well. Kind of iffy. Good Lord, is that me? Right. <laughs> but uh, the other thing is, that, of course, that the money, um, the money from part of those concerts is going to a very special um, cause, which um, Queen have have been involved with for a little time. We gave away uh, the money from one of the concerts to save the children. Yes, and I went to uh, one of their meetings yesterday and met Princess Anne, who was very wonderful and a big inspiration because she works on this thing the whole time. And save the children, in contrast to Live Aid, is something which just goes on the whole time without a whole lot of fanfares. You know. And they're fantastic people, very unpushy, and just get on with the job. Not only in Africa and all that, but in this country too, you know, very worthy projects here. So we're very happy to... It's a sort of continuing relationship we have with them now. You wrote a song um, uh, uh, for children, didn't you? Which was a, a special song. I remember you doing it at Live Aid. We did... Is this the world we created? Yeah. yeah which, is, which goes back a, a couple of years, actually, to mm. when we first saw the news from Africa. Mm. Yeah, that, so that was... That sort of predate Live Aid, really. Yeah, so every time that gets played or that gets bought, then the money goes to save the children too. That's that's a very uh, very worthwhile and uh, good. Thank you for coming and joining us today, Brian. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. We're very honoured because I noticed that Timmy's got a new shirt on for you. Good lord. Oh. Still got the price tag. <laughs> 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 oh, oh good good that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hear the chart? Yeah. Right. Okay. Here we go. Let's have... oh, oh, give us sorry. a musical. A little, little play out for you, all right? right? Okay. <laughs> We'll do the details here. And at 10 this week, it's Midnight Star with a new entry, Midas Touch. Down at night, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep down at nine, go the communards, but don't leave me this way. We're just getting a little bit of a. Keep, it's very nice, very nice. At eight, still the Pet Shop Boys with Suburbia. Down to seven from number three, a five star Rain on Shine. Bangles moving up to six with Walk Like an Egyptian. Paul Simon down to five with You Can Call Me Out. No. <laughs> Status Quo, of course, are with, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, in the army now, they were with their uh, queen at Wembley. Sarah Bright and Cliff Richard moving up to number three with All I Ask of You. Madonna still at two with True Blue. And number one yet again is Nick Perry. Nick Perry with that uh, dreadful Every Loser Wins. Anyway, we're going to... Oh, not Nick Perry. Oh, not another person that likes it. Please. We're going to play out now with uh, Queen Dips, kind of magic. See them and hear them live on uh, Saturday. And uh, in the meantime,